today we'll do one more question that is question number seven on projection of line the question is like this the end projection of a line a b are 55 mm apart the point a is 55 mm below the hp and 60 mm behind the vp point b is 30 mm above the hp and 25 mm in front of vp draw the projections of ab and find its true length and true inclination with hp and vp so students again will start with the given data what is given in the question so the point a and b the line a and b is 55 mm apart so line a b is 55 mm apart what does it mean it means the end projectors and projectors are 55 mm apart what else is given this is the one condition which is given what else is given the end point points are point a the condition of end condition end condition of point a is point a is 55 mm 55 mm below hp that's a one condition and it's another condition is given that is the same point a is 60 mm behind vp and the point b is the condition for point b is 30 mm above hp and 25 mm in front of vp 25 mm in front of vp so this is the end condition which is given so what we have to find out and we have to find out that uh, its true length and we have to draw the projections of the line and we have to find true length and its inclination with hp and vp so we have to find the true length and we have to find the inclination that is theta and phi we have to determine so these are the other two things which we have to determine so let us uh, start on with first we need to understand that a point when the point is below hp and behind vp so which quadrant is is this i know in the previous class i taught you that it is third quadrant so in third quadrant we know that uh, hp is above and vp is below fine so this point b let's understand the condition of point b that is above and in front so it is surely it is in first quadrant where vp is above and hp is below so first we need to understand these two conditions so there we'll start with drawing the xy line so let's draw the xy line first so we'll draw the xy line So this is my xy line which is the referential line so let's place first what is first condition which is given the first condition is the end projectors are 55 mm apart and projectors are the projectors of a and b ends so we can start from anywhere so let us start from here will i will draw a line a straight perpendicular line now i will measure from here the distance which is given 55 mm so 55 mm i'll mark a point another point fine so i will draw also a projector line here so let's first place the point a on this projector line so it is 55 mm below hp i have taught you we have to reverse this that means we have to show this in vp and vice versa goes we have to show this point in hp so it is in third angle that means hp is this time above and vp is below fine as i have mentioned here so what i have to mark i have to mark point a that is 55 mm below hp that means in v show, showing in vp so we have to measure from this point 55 mm So this is the point 
where this point lies so this is in VP that means it is a prime fine students similarly now another point we have to mark on the same projector line that is 60 mm that needs to be shown in HP because above is the HP it is 60 same we have to measure from here will measure 60 so this is the another point so it is in the HP HP means a only it is in the it's a top view so we have placed it let's give the dimensions to these two points so this was 55 mm and this was 60 mm from the reference line okay now let's place the and B on this projector line which is 55 mm apart fine so it is 30 mm above HP again we have to do the vice versa here so we need to show this in VP and we need to show this in HP vice versa but this time this is in the first quadrant so first quadrant means it's VP and this is HP students you need to remember these things the first point was in the third quadrant and the second end of the line is in the first quadrant so how it is placed so I, pl I replace HP and VP so with VP and HP so let's place the first point it is 30 mm above HP so needs to be shown VP so from here I need to measure how much 30 mm so 30 mm this is in VP so this is my B prime fine students similarly I can drop the another point which is shown in VP but we need to put it in HP that is 25 mm from here we will measure 25 mm so this is another point which is an HP that means B so let's give the dimensions so this is what it is okay so this is how much this is 30 30 mm and this is 25 mm what next we need to do we need to connect a prime with the B prime similarly a with the B so let's connect these two points Similarly, we need to connect this point also with the B. Okay, so we got the projections. So this is my top view, this is my front view, and this is my top view. But what is the question? We need to find out the true length, and we also need to find out the true angles. So what we need to do as you know this is the B so we need to give a locus line of the B prime similarly we need to give the locus line of A and same way we'll repeat here also so I draw the locus line so this is my locus of A prime locus of B locus of B prime and this is my this prime not one and this is locus of A so what next I need to do as I said in the previous case also what I have to do I have to keep one leg of the compass on A and another on B I have to cut an arc up to the locus of A up to the locus of A so this is here it has cut same way for the other line I have to keep the compass here 
and rotate the line up to the locus of A prime so it has cut here fine so I found these two points what I need to now do I need to drop the perpendicular line from locus of A to the locus of B prime so from this I will drop the perpendicular up to the locus of B prime so this is my another point so let's name this that is B1 prime B1 prime so similarly I will drop the perpendicular line from locus of A up to the locus of B so a perpendicular line like this so I got another point this point so let's name this this is B1 fine what next I need to do I need to connect these points I need to connect this with this and same way this point with this so this is this line is my true length similarly this line which is the larger than the projection of the top view is my true length and same way I can measure this true length this true length is 135 so 135 mm so this is 135 mm is my true length similarly what was needed this is the angle which the true length makes this is the angle which the true length makes which it is the top view so this is my phi and this is the true length which makes the angle so this is my theta so I can measure these two angles by using the protector so my theta is 40 degree so my theta is 40 degree and similarly my phi is my phi is 39 degree 39 degree approximately so these are the all approximate angles because there could be the variation of one or two degrees and so this is how I can even find out this angle also and similarly I can find out this angle also this is my alpha and this angle is my beta same way as I have measured these two angles I can measure these two angles also I can measure the length of the front view and I can measure the length of the top view I hope students you got this question in a nice and perfect way and we'll do few more questions on the line in the next few classes thank you very much for watching me